Right then, good morning year 10. Well, it's morning now, but you're going to see this this afternoon. Um, for this lesson, you're going to need to get a, either a piece of paper and a pen, or you're going to need a whiteboard and a whiteboard pen if you've got them at home. Lucky you. Uh, we will just be doing binary deanery hex, binary addition, and we'll look at binary shifts as well, because I think we need to recap them a little bit more before you start doing your paper. Um, so, first thing, I want you to write out the binary and hex tables, okay? If you need to pause this video just to write them out, pause it, all right? I'm gonna ask you to pause every now and again just so that you can have a job to do. I'll give you, what, a minute? That should be enough, shouldn't it? Right, pause it now. Right, once you've got them written out, they should look like this. You've got your binary table at the top, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. And then you've got your hex table, one to nine, A to F. They will never change. You need to know them off by heart and you need to know which way round they go, all right? So you should all know binary. So let's do these. I would like you to do these quick as you can. Um, you will need to press pause because I'm gonna show the answers on the next screen. So press pause now. And I want you to do those on your own. Right, so answers. There we go. If anybody's got any complaints, you know what to do. Just send me a message on Teams like most people do when they're complaining about something I've done. All right. That is your binary to deanery. So do it in reverse. All right. That's your next set of instructions. Off you go. I need you to pause the video now. Okay, your answers. There we go, that's your deanery to binary done. So we'll look at hex, because we didn't do a lot on hex. All right, so it's called the base 16 number system because you can have a value from zero and then you've got all the other 15 values that are in the table. They are represented by two characters, okay? So the three that you can see on screen in pink there, that is an A4, a D8, and a 7-7, seven, seven. it's not 77. When you're doing your exams, you need to make sure that if you see a 7-7, seven, seven, you need to read it and say, is it a deanery number? So is it the number 77 or is it a hex? And it's actually 7-7. Seven, seven. Just double check those when you're doing it. All right, so to work it out, if I do this one full screen, it'll go through step by step. So we're going to convert um, C8 into binary. So we separate them out. You can see that C is on the left, 8 is on the right. So C in that table is the 12th character. And 8 is obviously the 8th character. So we just change it. So we've now got C maps to the 12, eight maps to the eight. And what we do is we just convert those two things into four digit binary. So 12 is 1100, because we need an eight, a four, we don't need a two, we don't need a one. And the number eight, we only need a number eight. So that is the 12, that's the eight. And then all we do is join them together. We don't add them, we don't do anything. We just push them together to make one eight digit binary number all right so if we look at these three binary numbers like this we are going to do it in reverse now so we will split the binary number in half so we've got four bits on the left four bits on the right four bits on the left four bits on the right four bits on the left four bits on the right so if we convert those into deanery 14, 13, 14, 13, 4, 13. And then all we do is to convert that to hexes, we just find out which one of those characters is in the hex table. So E is the 14th character along. So the first one will be 14. And what I would like you to do is pause the video. I want you to get the other characters done. So we've already done a 14. You need to do 13, then 14, then 13, then 4, then 13. All you do is read which character is in that position in the table. All right, pause. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to do hex practice. So convert those binary ones to hex on the left-hand side. Split them in half, convert it to its binary number, and then check that character in the hex table. On the right-hand side, they are separate 
digits, remember. So you will need to work out what is the fourth thing in the hex table. It's the number four. Where is C in the hex table? That will be 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you convert those to binary and merge them together. Okay? Your answers are going to be on the next slide. So pause this video and give yourself enough time to do it. Those are your answers. Just double check them. Again, you got any complaints, you know who you are going to be that are going to be complaining to me. Just put it in Teams in one of the chats. Confer it between yourselves if you're unsure. All right, so now we're going to do binary addition. This is tricky to get your head around until you've done some. So these are our rules. Five rules. Um, a zero plus a zero makes zero. Zero and one makes one. One and zero makes one. One and one makes ten. All right. And a one, one, one makes eleven. Those two rules will make no sense to you whatsoever right now. And I'll explain why. You will need to write that down. So if you need to, just pause right now and write those rules down. Right, we're going to do an example. I'm going to come out full screen so I can fill the boxes in. So I've got my rules at the bottom. And we've got a binary addition sum. So what happens is you've got one binary number and underneath you've got another binary number. And we're going to add them together using these rules. So just down here, I've got a one and a one. Down here it says a one and a one makes ten. And I carry the one. So this is my carry line. So I'm going to put a one there and my zero in there. So I've got one and zero, but down here I've still got my one. So I've got one and one makes ten. So I'll put my one there and my zero in here. One and one makes ten. Zero. So in this column, all I've got is a one, which means it's just a one. One and zero makes one. One and one makes ten. So I'll put the one down there, carry it. One and one makes ten. And one and one makes ten. Now, I put my zero in there, but because this is only an eight bit binary number, that one can't be carried. So it just goes in that little box just there. That is an overflow error. And it's what happens when you get more than eight digits in a binary addition sum. It means you get a ninth bit right on the end, and that makes it an overflow error. So that is the worked example. If you need to, replay that worked example again and again. Because what you need to do is you need to remember that your carry box is included in the sum, which is how you can end up with a one and a one and an additional one. All right. They are extremely tricky to get hold of. Um, Along with this video, I'm going to post some worksheets to complete. All right. Have a go at them. I'm going to give you the answer sheet as well so that you can go through it and check it yourself. All right. Your last one that I need you to look at is called a binary shift. And all we do is we pick up the binary number and we shift it in the binary table left or right, no matter how many places it is asking us to do it. If you shift left, that means you're multiplying the binary number by something. If you shift right, that means you're dividing by something. All right. So every place you move left means your number is doubled. Every place you moved right means your number is halved. OK, so all you do is pick it up, move it, pick it up, move it, pick it up, move it. So you are going to do these. All right. This is what you're going to do. You are basically going to pick up that number. You are going to shift it however many places, whichever direction it says, and you're going to move it along. So the way I would do this is either digitally get yourself a table two three four five six seven eight okay so this is me going to do this one so i've got zero one one zero one one zero okay so it's only a seven bit number which means i will start again zero one one Zero, one, one, zero. 
Now it says move it three places to the right. Okay, so that means I will one, two, and three. These three are gone. They just disappear because you're moving the entire number to the right. All right, so underneath, they will not exist, which means that we are going to start with the zero. We're going to put one, one, zero, and that's it because these three have gone. They don't exist anymore because you've moved it three places to the right and they cannot fit in your binary number anymore. And all you're left with is these original four characters. And to make it an 8-bit, all you do is just put zeros. That's that. That's all the shift is. You pick the number up, you move it three places to the right. This one is a right. I'm going to show you a left move now. Delete those. Uh, so my original number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's only a seven bit again, so let's put them in. So I've got zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. So it says two places to the right, which means one and two, these two boxes would disappear. So then you rewrite number. In those extra places, so one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and you fill the empty boxes in with zeros. One, two, and that is you picking up the number, moving it left two places. You're shifting that number, and whatever you shift out of the eight bit zone is gone, gets deleted, and the empty boxes you fill in with zeros. Now, that is very tricky to get your head around, but I want you to have a go at it. And this I want sending back to me. I'm not sending you any answers with this one. All right. Have a go. See what you can do. And on Wednesday, I think it is, is when we go through any follow up to this. So you can send me messages in Teams. You can do whatever you need to. And I will get back to you Wednesday afternoon with anything that you need sorting. All right. Uh, good luck with it. Hope it all makes sense. And if it doesn't, send me a message in Teams. Speak to you soon.